So found footage fans have something to get really excited about because the latest horror movie, Mind, Body, Spirit, is out on digital VOD and it is absolutely worth your time. Welcome to Black Box Horror. I'm Kaylee St. John and I love to talk about horror movies. So if you're listening to this through our podcast on Spotify or Apple Podcasts, the full article along with the trailer for the film we talk about today will be linked in the episode description for you to check out. While you're there, please take a moment to support Black Box Horror and subscribe to the website for free to get all your horror movie news reviews and recommendations. So I got a chance to see Mind, Body, Spirit a little bit early before its release, and it's probably one of my favorite horror films so far this year. In the movie, we meet Anya, played by actress Sarah J. Bartholomew, who's trying to build her following as a hopeful social media, yoga, and wellness influencer. We see her efforts played out in a screen life found footage format where we watch her recorded YouTube style videos, even including the occasional ad break interruptions, just like you would expect if you were watching along online. All the videos take place in a house she inherited from her recently passed grandmother, Varasha, who Anya knows very little about. Through conversations between Anya and her mother, it's clear that the family has distanced themselves from Varasha, and her mother even discouraged her from moving into the house to begin with. But the home itself creates a beautiful atmospheric setting, where you get the calming blue walls and the relaxing yoga vibe that provides almost a false sense of security and a great contrast to the horror element that are coming in this movie. As almost a foil to Anya, we also meet Kenzie. Kenzie is a friend who is also clearly a well-established and famous health and wellness influencer herself. So Anya reaches out to her for advice, but unlike Anya's more shy, uncomfortable demeanor, Kenzie is clearly more in your face and the stereotypical expectation of a big influencer. So between the two of them, we get a commentary on the length people will go for fame and the inauthenticity that seems to come right along with it. Anya clearly wants to feel like she fits the influencer mold like Kenzie and seems to be struggling to find her own voice. All that changes when she finds her grandmother's journal hidden in a secret room she discovered behind a bookshelf in the home, filled with mysterious symbols, foreign text, and a ritual called the joining. Despite having very little knowledge of her grandmother's background and an almost willful decision to ignore the red flags, Anya decides to focus her content around this journal as her ticket to viral stardom. This movie does things with found footage that I frankly haven't ever seen done. There were numerous scenes where I was audibly asking, how in the hell did they do that? You feel the grandmother Varasha's ghostly presence in the film almost immediately as she manifests through various scenes in ways that are somehow simultaneously in your face and yet still strangely subtle. Anya's yoga poses become really unsettling as her body contorts, clearly impacted by some sort of evil presence in the home, and her behavior becomes increasingly erratic and strange. The scenes are designed with their own built-in tension where nearly every shot is a wide shot of the room where you're left scanning every corner waiting for something that's coming. And the camera harnesses that anxiety and helps scan for you, making amazing use of a 360 panning shot around the room, similarly to what we've seen with the moving security cameras in the Paranormal Activity franchise. And those shots are so well done and create that anxiety of something always being just around the corner waiting. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm a firm believer in the mantra, know thyself. And if found footage horror isn't your thing, this film likely won't transform your opinion of the genre. It's just a format that doesn't resonate with everyone and that's okay. But amid a slew of mediocre entries into found footage horror over the years, this one was genuinely refreshing and jumped right in with some of my favorites of the subgenre. If you want to check it out, Mind, Body, Spirit is now available on digital VOD platforms for you to watch. And don't forget to subscribe to Black Box Horror for more horror movie news, reviews, and recommendations.